Hey, Internet! Color Farty's back for the contest number 11 levels on the Lemmings forums. So, I'm going back to Neo Lemmix to try to solve some of the levels that I was not able to. Although, I'm just going to say... I'm not even going to try to solve complications. I've been trying for a while. Honestly, I think I'm just, like, giving up at this point. I just can't figure it out. So, we'll actually be moving on to The Wishing Well by Crane. This one got uploaded, updated... A lot, let's just say. I think this is version 9 now. Just because Ikotolot kept finding back routes to it. Apparently I found a back route too, so... Let's see what I can do about this. Something tells me we can't just have the floater go down here now. Also, it didn't mention it in the last video, but... I love this moss. I found moss is like the hardest piece of terrain to use well. And Crane just went crazy with it, so good on ya. So if I could find a way to just save a builder... Well, I'm guessing he'll have to climb and he'll have to float. And he's gonna have to build. But here's the thing, what do I do now? I have an interesting idea. Oh, that's interesting. Let's try to get over there in two builders. No. So, this piece of steel is covered in moths. Oh, what? I thought you could mine through steel if there's moss over it. Well, there goes that idea. Hmm. If I could seal this gap up... Oh, that's right. Darn it! Still splat height. Let's see, alright, what else can I do? You know what, I'm actually gonna try doing the whole... Climber goes this way, the floater goes the other way. Something tells me that's not what's supposed to happen, but Yippee! could be. All right. So we're gonna need two builders to get across there, and then two to get up there. So we can't use a builder to turn him around. See the problem here? <laughs> Cause I know I see the problem. Hmm, man. If it makes you feel better, Crane, I personally like your version 1 level just fine. And why did you even give me a bomber? Like, I guess I'm known to, like, very occasionally put in bombers on 100% save levels as trolls. But whenever you give me a bomber, it always makes me worried that it's going to play into the solution somehow.
away. So help me if this is the solution. Nah, that's too far a fall. Oh, but he won't turn around from that. Might be wondering what the heck I'm doing. To be honest, I really don't know. But I gotta check. Yeah, good, that's not splat height anymore. Excellent. Darn it. Something tells me if this works out, this is also a back route. Actually, you can keep on building. I said you can keep on building. This is the tricky part. Yeah, because that's going to leave him... Yeah. Aw, oh, man. I feel like I can get this to work, though. I don't suppose this is like Lemmings Revolution where you can make him... Yeah, you can't make him... I, you can't assign tasks to Lemmings who, so, who are going, Oh, no! Oh, no, no, oh, no. Oh. 
Gotta slow him down a bit. Ha! Okay, that's gotta be another back route. <laughs> but I did it! I did it! <laughs> well, okay, I'm guessing Crane's gonna be upset about that one, but I did it! <laughs> Alright, Future Temple by the unknown guy. I'll give it another try, sure. Okay. So, like, I felt like last time I was right on the precipice of discovering the solution. Because over here, I can use my one builder to stop him from splatting. Which, to be honest, I hate levels where it's like, oh, one pixel makes the difference between a splat and a succession. Like, Lost Umbrellas from the last contest was that way. That was just kind of an annoying solution. My personal opinion, though. What the heck? That lemming looks like he's patting the other on the back. Okay, good job, man. The problem now is this. <laughs> Oh, I was pushing the wrong button. I pushed the fast-forward button as opposed to the rewind button. Hmm, yeah. I have no idea how to solve this one. Oh, wait a second. I actually might have just figured out the solution. just gotta stall him for a little bit longer. <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Please be able to bash for this. Oh, that was like, that was fun. That was a good level. I assume this was a Gronkling level, because I know he made two levels and I've only seen one. Oh, I solved that a lot faster than I thought I could. <laughs> I went for Beanbook, I don't think I could solve this too. Oh, I solved it in like five seconds. Alright, the machine. So, I solved this level, but apparently I backrooted it something horrible, so... Ikatolot decided to make like twice the buttons to push. Whatever, let's try it. It's got amazing music, so I have no qualms about that. I think my problem is I'm trying to uh, make everything perfectly symmetrical, which is impossible since we only have five platformers and one stacker. So I'm guessing what you have to do is you're going to have to platform from one side to get here, and then you're going to have to stack on this side and then walk in order to get to the other side. The problem is then they're trapped. And they're going to walk into that trap. Unless I save both my walkers there. These are all my platformers. Oh, that's right. Because... Mm, oh, actually, no, no, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. Actually, I don't think this is going to work.
Because he's going to get stuck in there. Then even if I walk, he's going to walk for this and then he's going to hit that trap. Hmm. And I can't let him walk. And even if he avoids that trap, he's going to glide into this one. So there's no two ways about it. You're going to have to bash through these two fans just in order to reach these buttons. You're also going to have to platform through here in order to reach that button as well as that button. So that's two platformers and two bashers gone. That glider's annoying because you need to either platform or stack at the top in order to uh, get to the other side. Because just letting them fall and then glide, not going to cut it. They just won't make it. Hmm. Yeah, this one is a lot harder on the second update than on the uh, zero update. Come on. Ugh. Actually, here's an idea. What if we hit that and stack there? Platform over here. And we can fly over here. We still need that one platformer up there. Except now he's gonna fly over there. And see, walking isn't gonna do anything because then he's just gonna hit that button, but then he'll hit, uh, run into this trap. That is a trap, right? I'm pretty sure that's a trap. Yeah. And it's annoying, because even though you can bash to do that... Yeah, he's just gonna do that. I guess this begs the question... Can you turn gliders around in midair with a walker? No, you cannot. Ah, oh, dang it. I have no idea. But I do know, I finally, finally solved this level, the polar bear level. I was going about it the wrong way. Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> So what we're going to do is make the digger a climber. To start the same way we started in the previous attempt. Make the climber a blocker, he'll fall down there, climb up. Max out the release rate. Bash through here. 
Okay, is this the uh, polar tile set from? Uh... Okay. So then we're gonna dig down here. Oh, I was losing track. Uh, I think that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'll bash for here. Now they're gonna walk around like this. Gonna let them do that a few times to kind of close the gap up between them. So I think right here is good. Yeah, right there's perfect. Oh, what we want to do beforehand though is highlight this guy. All right. And then once we get to right about here, we're gonna make that guy a blocker. They're all gonna walk through and go to the exit. Is that a back route? Possibly, because I have two bashers left. Or maybe those are just red herrings. Because I really don't see any other way to do it. Alright! That's all I know how to do. And I think that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one, I will be tackling... Well... The Rule 2 level I couldn't solve, as well as... Possibly my own levels. Oh, that's right. I'm also going to say... Probably am not going to beat this one. Because according to Ikotolot himself, Ikotolot himself, uh, this is like a little too hard to be in the contest. And that's coming from him, and he makes hard levels for the contest anyways. And I hate teleporters, so <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll attempt it again, we'll see. But I honestly have no idea how the heck to do it. So, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for the next episode.